So we're at the 2017 RVIA trade show in Louisville, Kentucky, and we have meant to come here for years, but somehow we keep goofing and not making it, <laughs> but we've made it finally. We're looking for things that are new, things that are fresh, things that maybe we've never seen before. Maybe you have, but at least these are things that are new to us and things that we find interesting and we really want to share that with you guys. Um, and so today we're going to be showing uh, the, some Class B vans. It's my dream. I know, I think Nathan's just trying to convince me. We'll see if he can convince me today. <laughs> I'm gonna keep on trying. So, <laughs> we'll see what happens. But let's uh, let's check out some vans. So this is Airstream's uh, B Plus, the Atlas. You got one slot over here. This bed comes up as a Murphy bed. Looks like into a couch. It's really cool. Yeah. We could all totally bunk up in this. <laughs> no. All this on the other side. Show in the back. Really nice. <laughs> one of those in. Yeah. <laughs> That is nice. Isn't it? This, this whole thing is so nice. This could totally fit in our airstream. I like this wood. It's that teak. Mm -hmm. It's a nice touch. It is. Really Their cool. designers know what they're doing. It's, it's good stuff. Big, doesn't it? Yeah, this feels really roomy for what it is. It comes with a flamingo, too. Salt. Is this the TV? TV? I cool. Bet, yeah. I don't know where the button's at. But... Yeah, that's really neat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they really thought this one out. I really like it. I love this, too. Oh, yeah. You could, like, lay in bed and look at the stars. <laughs> I love that. And this is another Atlas with the bed up. That's what it looks like with the couch. Look at that. <laughs> Isn't that cool? It's like a porthole. I could live in this van. This, this doesn't even feel like it. Does it's it? crazy. I mean, it's a B plus. It's a little bit wider than a regular van, but, I mean, it's still... Very, very compact. No, I could totally do this. This is beautiful. Oh, and they got the TV up on this one, babe. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Look at that. It's got a sound bar above it. <laughs> it's just the tiny little touches. Like, they've got this metal underneath the sink right here. Look at that aluminum. Place for a pedestal here for a table. So you could set that up. A little bit extra counter space. It's nice. You want to do a van now? I want to do this van. <laughs> this van? <laughs> Oh, this is I haven't checked the price. Um, it's probably out of our price range. Yeah, it's probably, but yeah. One can dream, right? It's really pretty. They did a good job. They did. Every time I look around, man, there's something else cool. Look at the, the convection up there. Yeah, so this is the Murphy bed up. And then, let's see how that work. Yeah. So you do that and pull on that and it comes out. You can see where the body comes out a little bit right like this on this one. And then here's your smooth body on a typical B, where you just what if you solid all the way across. And started. Tommy Bahama, relax edition. Always love the Tommy Bahamas. It's got some extra seats in here. It's convection oven down on the bottom. This is a little different. They've got a, an air mattress in the front. If this lays on, somebody can sleep right here. They put these extra seats in here. I guess you could still make a bed in the back, but that's pretty cool. You can make a bed in the front, too. This is cool. What's up there? A bed. So if you wanted to do a van, we could <laughs> sleep up here. And then you've got this little bed in the back. Yeah, you got the option for that in the back too. Does that... So this comes down, Yeah, that I comes guess, down, yeah. Makes one big bed? Yeah, makes a big bed in the back too. You could want. totally, we could totally do this. Put Hensley up top? Yeah. Huh. You've always wanted a van, Nathan. 
That's nice. Look at that. I mean, it's a. Uh, I don't know. For some reason, it's more attractive than most of the. Uh, Wet, wet baths. <laughs> I think it's this teak. Yeah. We need some teak in our life. We do need some teak. I like it. I like Everybody teak. needs a little teak in their life. Huh. Let's see, microwave, stove, fridge. It's not bad. I like it. There's your. You got a. That folds down into a sink if you need it. See that? Isn't that cool? That's cool. I mean, is it fancy? No. But I mean, <laughs> it's great use of space. This is your. Yeah, this comes around. They just went ahead and made that the door. That's yeah, a good use of space. That is. Look, you've got room here if you got another passenger or something or somebody with you. They can sit back here and work. This is a... This is pretty genius. Wow. They've really put a lot of thought into this. Yeah. You talk about like a luxurious travel, I mean. Mm-hmm. Isn't that cool? You got little step ups everywhere. Hey, Marissa, can you show your favorite part? Does it have a screen? It does have oh, a screen. Fun. This is the Heimer Active 2.0 Loft Edition. It's really cool. Could you be stealthy though with your? <laughs> well, I don't know if this <laughs> stealth might be out the window, but yeah. <laughs> still, that is cool. contrasting colors yeah look at these floors these are really pretty it's like the dark and the white that's like our um yeah like what we nice. did in our airstream with the dark and the white so the big deal here is uh tiffin is entering the class c market this is the tiffin wayfarer uh, so if you want to assuming they build it like they do everything else they do which i know they will <laughs> a high quality class c um they're moving in with it they're seeing it, it is the class c the class b seems like the smaller stuff is I don't, it's just me. It's just a hunch. I don't know. It seems like the smaller stuff's picking up in, mm -hmm. in momentum a little better than the, the bigger stuff lately. I think lately. people are seeing the flexibility with the mm -hmm. smaller space. Yeah. I mean, you're, you're able to fit more places and go more places. And I mean, I think it's starting to kind of um, get out there a little bit. The secret's out. Yeah, don't tell. It's nice. Yeah, I like It's well them. built. They got the Euro, you know, they got, they, they right off the bat, you know, they're on it. And it kind of, yeah. I like how it opens up into the back. It's a pretty big back. So you yeah, got to slide yes. out in the back, looks like. Yeah, there's a lot of room. I mean, it feels roomy. It's kind of in the range of the, you know, the Jayco Melbourne, Melbourne and then the Winnebago View. And seats are going to swivel. You've got this table here, optional other table here. Of course, both of them have pedestals, so you can take those out if you want to. Looks like that's, that might jack now if it looks like, just looking at it. you got a bed over the cab, which is really nice. Bathroom, storage, Did you see the shower? wired for solar. Oh yeah, huh? So yeah, the whole thing's a shower. It gives you a really good size shower. I wonder if that feels weird in there, like when you're showering. In People your... really want us to stand in that shower and show them. Well, I just wonder if it's weird, like feeling like you're in a closet. I'll let you know. This thing. <laughs> Come on, Marissa. <laughs> Seriously, you're not locking me in, are you? No, I'm not doing anything. I don't know how this opens. Is this? Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I might have panicked a little at the end, but <laughs> no. How, how was it? There is a lot at the ceiling, right? Yeah, there's light. Yeah, there's... you know what I mean. I just didn't know if it would feel weird. Like, does it feel normal or? If you don't think about it, it was fine. <laughs> so this is the Winnebago Revel. They came out with this this year. Uh, it's pretty neat. <laughs> Loving the color scheme on this. Oh, they've got the teak too. Yeah. It's the year of the teak. Now, what's, I'm, what is going on? So this is, yeah. it could be a closet. A closet. Or, or a shower, it looks like, with a toilet. Hmm. So, yeah, that's actually cool. If somebody doesn't want a shower, you go ahead and buy it. Just use it as a closet. Here's the 
This is for this loft in the back. I'm not gonna mess with it, but this bed in the back can go up and down if you want to. I guess it'd go all the way up pretty much, wouldn't it? So when it goes all the way up, what what do you do underneath? Well, you could, uh, I mean, you could just about walk underneath it if you want to. Gear garage. Ah, okay. Yeah. Of course, one of the big deals about this, four by four. Outdoor shower if you want it. Plugs all over the place. More plugs over here. Plugs down here, and here, and here. Suggested price on this one is 142. You like that color scheme too? I don't know, that one's pretty cool. Hey, the ladder, look, yeah, your ladder can go on the side if it needs to. Attach that way too, or the back, whichever. Hope you guys enjoy checking out those Class Bs. Um, it's a dream of mine. I don't know if it'll ever come true, but I still love hey, looking at them. I mean, after the today, pop top, maybe the pop top. After today, I'm convinced. Well, or the Airstream one. Yes, <laughs> they have some really awesome van options. So I don't give up on your dream, guys. If she says no, <laughs> you making, never know. They're making it harder and harder for me to say no to the van. I love. I like the vans. I love them. I you just don't want to be in one, yeah. No, I do. It's just. Oh. You know, well, we, got we a have a little yeah, one and it makes it a little more She'd difficult. like it. She'd love a van. She would, actually. <laughs> Seems like the smaller space we get, the more fun she has. I'm sure there's a point where we'll be clawing each other's eyes out or whatever, but I don't know. We enjoy where we're at right now, but we still love getting to show you guys these vans um, and the things at this trade show. And I hope you guys enjoyed it like we have. And until next time, we will catch you guys later.